How's it going everybody? In time for round three of three. I am one and one so far and today my opponent is Chaos Sin 1982 4PDA. I feel like I've played this guy before but I can't remember. They're an RH Invisible Sun. 12 million GP flat. Looks like they haven't been updating their uh or maybe they're helping someone test or something but no data are on squad arena. <clears throat> of course most accounts look the same. They do, do have bo -Katan. Uh, but not a ridiculous bottom of the roster, like everything is <clears throat> R7 or something, like I've been seeing. Fully loaded set 13, like every single every single possible level 9, or like, or like 30 level 9s, I think is what I mean. Or maybe they have one left over. People usually leave like one spot extra. No, that is 30. I was going to say, some people leave a spot extra so they can dismantle Datacrons if they come across them. Um, and then well on their way with set 14, definitely more than I have. And for a more numerical comparison, let's scroll in a bit. Uh, pretty. So, yeah, Chaos said 992 six dot mods, so more mods, a little bit faster on the high end. Our average is rather close 25 plus speed, really close. So, it's pretty close. The only real advantage is Bo Katan, and then also a variety of more data crons to choose from and this is the first time i'm seeing a holdo data cron defense that's interesting didn't change my defense from last time uh up top we have saw dart room off gideon i'm so thankful the dart room off gideon and saw actually are on the top zone because i can delay making the decision on them until i see the back wall <clears throat> which is a big deal same thing with Darth raven those are those are all types of teams that i would rather just have the whole board to look at when I decide. Jabba, probably going to be a JMK or a Supreme Leader Kylo. Uh, just depends what's in the back. And then Zori. Um, down low is where the Ray is. And a Lord Vader. So we've got Lord Vader, Maul, and Thrawn taking advantage of the fact that I don't have Bo. Um, Tuscan's going to tray that. Going to use Smash Bros here. Hopefully it works just fine against Holocron. It's the one where they all have to fall under health. And I hope that Malakos and Starkiller can just crush through that. There is a ton of health, though. 60% health is crazy. Uh, but, but we'll see. Hopefully it's not too bad. Keller and Beck, uh, who I'm actually hoping to use Malgus against. Or no, Maul for Keller and Beck. And then Malgus for Qui-Gon Jinn, actually. Uh, so we'll see. Um... This Qui-Gon Jinn has the anti-revive, so that kind of makes Night Sisters a no-go. But it's not extra damage. And yeah, I mean Kiati Moon, the armor shred. Kinda worrisome, but uh I think Malgus can take it well. It, Malgus is a really high win rate against Qui-Gon, even with like Marauder and Sith Assassin, which I'll use. So yeah, um I wanna start out with Smash Bros here. Let's go Ufu, Seer, Starkiller, Malakos, and probably Doubt. Uh, probably look for damage as well. So uh, that's that's probably good. Potency and Tenesi as well. I think I'm gonna use that last time. And. Yeah, let's check out the ray. 174,000 health. Oof. 12,000 offense. And the holdo. I actually have a I actually have holdo zeta. Pure health there. Actually some protection boost too, but slow speed, which is probably the way to go. Yeah, let's see it. I, I was getting comments saying, oh, you don't need you don't need a start killer. You can do it with a baby cow. That, that's not, that's way less safe, way less viable. Like it can work. It's just low percentage. So no, I don't want to do that. I'm worried about Holdo and just way too thick to get through. Okay, 
So now we can kill others because they've fallen under health. Want to be ultimate? Okay, good. I wanted the ultimate instead of another whirlwind. Uh, it's probably not gonna do it, but okay, she got the savior. On it, Ben Hard. The damage immunity. Let's get some debuffs on Ray. Hang in there, nice. Take a turn, Ben. It's not what I wanted you to use. Come on, big hits. Come on, hit again, hard. Give me the Star Destroyer. Come on, take him out, take him out. Take her out. Star Killer, you dog. 67. Full health and protection. Beautiful. All thanks to that Star Destroyer. That was amazing. That was fantastic. Try to do that without Star Killer. That's just, just not gonna work. Baby Cal. That took a lot of damage. That was a well modded, well data Karan team. Like, that was thick, that was well thought out. But they couldn't make it work against the combined power of Malakos and Star Killer. So just beautiful. Um, let's see, two, two, three, three flex for Treya. Okay, these three. I actually just brought Treya to R seven and Nihilus is R six, waiting to go to R seven. So I'm finally getting around to them. And I guess I want doubt. That's fine, I guess. I'm not too discerning with the datacrons I'm picking. They're all kind of just a mishmash. Or for this counter in particular, I'm not sure. I don't even know what they have. Yeah, just doubt. Ooh, a lot of deflection. Ultimately, that won't save them. Unless they touch this. So I still got three cooldown increases, which... What? No! What? This is not one that's supposed to be up in the air. Uh, hence why uh, taking her to R7. Come on, Savage, bail me out here. No, no, what? What happened? That's supposed to be safe. I still cannot believe that. Maybe I should have done isolate right away and protected trap. I did not see that coming. Those were some pretty dang big hits. I mean, I guess it was 87% last season, but that was the Tuscan data cron, so I thought that would be far superior. I guess I just gotta do Sith Eternal now? But like, jeez. What the heck? I guess I'll come back to that, actually. Um, let me do Leia here. What? That's crazy talk. I need a set. Whatever this is. Avoid it. I guess we'll go crit avoidance because kind of take out Maul fast and then uh, Lord Vader's the concern. Um, this one is a little worse. <laughs> worse I'm going to high, high deflection. 
We're doing a lot of special damage, or at least Rogan is. So, I hope it's okay. I mean, this one... This can be evaded, I guess. Can this be not be evaded? The ally leader slows the tank, this attack can't be evaded. So yeah, that's fine. Actually. Um, we'll still get plenty of hits with the debuffs. Or with the basic. Oh my god, I'm reeling from the, that Tuscan match. That was That's supposed to be, I bring Treya to be safe. And I was just talking about how I increased the relics, so I guess that was more needed than I even realized. Tech to you. Four, five, whoop. Die. Go. I don't want him fractured, actually, so let him go. Dad. That doesn't matter because can't get buffs. Historically, I've been fine at this point. He's never quite done enough to get through. Who knows? down his neck. Keep him hidden. I need to finish with the alt. I kill him before that though. Yeah. I only got one banner though. <laughs> Stupid Tuscan. Okay, Maul here with Bar and ISC. Oh, you guys, don't let me down. I know you're just R3, but it, it's it's all good. Um, the see what I want. Do I do this middle one? This might my... it's actually fancy deflection. Yeah, actually, because yeah, I'll go with that. I mean, that's the whole reason I attempted to get that deck run any way. So they got extra offense. Kind of painful. I'm going to go in right away with airplane mode. Um, I'm most worried about damage from me, so I'll try to get them under full health. Come on. Oh, jeez. Okay, now we're off to the races. The bar is sitting on his butt. Okay, whatever happens, we're keeping this result, so come on. Get in here. Haha, <laughs> eat it. Lost three banners, but I'll take that. Hey Malgus, you sat on the bench last time? Can afford that this time. Sith Empire, because we get lots of 
Crit a void for Sith Empire. And I don't think a Sith one is the best. I think we care more about doubt. Uh, the question is, what stat do I? Collection's not really gonna help. Potency, maybe. And I got a clinch for this one, too. I'd rather you do that before the super... Oh, you're feared. Yes. Okay, well, you killed him. Big hit. Got him. Okay. If you asked me, I would have said Marauder would be the one to survive, but... So... Single target here. This is, I this this might be the first time I'm actually using Sith Assassin like in earnest. Okay. Sure. Good job, Sass. Get rid of that foresight. If if Cam just like went off and crushed Malgus, I would be so annoyed. Okay. Been terrible on banners. Just horrible. Just awful. Just bad. Well. I'll steal. Which one do I want to save for Bane? Is what I'm say. Matter too much for Bane? Thanks. I guess I'll take this one. I don't. I think it's kind of crazy. Some people think airplane mode is, like, unfair. It's just good sense. It's like, I... I can back out, but I might be too slow because I'm on a computer. And then... I don't want to just be completely screwed. Even more so if it's, like, TW. Other people are counting on you. I should have used the heal thing while I didn't have doubt. Two up. And 
And if it goes how it always uh, it seems to have been going, I'll kill this summon and it'll come back once for some reason, even though it's sponsor. It's gone. Oh, no, he's shocked. I can just go a chieftain. Forget all that crap. Now, if Sith Eternal was designed well, I'd still be able to heal up, but we get rid of his best ability. We don't want him to be best self. Okay, we're gonna big zap. Eskins, I'm telling you, 3v3, nothing to be... Not to be underestimated. Okay, that's a good sight. Trench and CLS as the top dogs. Okay, we got a Malgus. So... That's interesting. Um, that, Night Sisters worked well, but... I wouldn't see Tenacity up might be an issue. I don't know. Good data. He's got the right data cron. I, I want that data cron. I can't get it because I can't get level 3 reroll mats. This team uh, should be easy for Aiden. Ben Honda. That's a team people use like on offense. But it's like, it's not bad. This does this only affects old Ben and Ray. That, that one, that's kind of a weird lineup. Um, but I'm not too worried about clearing. I got a lot left over for the back. Uh, so I can safely do... I don't know. I mean, Dark Dream up, you know, probably... I can do Supreme Lord Kali for that, actually. Um, and then JMK for Java. It's like what one has to do one and the other has to do the other. Uh, Darth Revan, Soul of Lord Vader. Aphra... Probably Jabba, just because I have it. Yeah, we got stuff. All right, so I got the plan. I actually have Bane available that I could just destroy Saw with, so that's why it's nice to get to that um, late in the game. Uh, actually, Dirt Room Up Gideon, I need to configure what's the best. Up with Supreme Mark Tyler, so it's 97% less season. Uh, yeah. I don't guess people really were overkilling it. Uh, Daka Zombie looks pretty good too, actually. Might be a good plan. Yeah, I was thinking Daka Zombie. Because I don't need some nice sisters elsewhere. Uh, we had Jabba. So let's do. I want to call this a tune up, but. Uh, this guy's surprise has surprised me. I really served it up to him. I have to attack early today. Um, it's the night of it starting as opposed to the morning when I normally do it. Another one of mine. I need to, so. Afra, and then I'll do the Jabba. I'll do the Dark Trooper Moth. But I guess if I drop and end up losing, I do prefer that I do all that before opponent attacks. So at least it's not a foregone conclusion, the outcome of the match while people are watching. Why didn't you die? Jetix. Oh, that would be why. I need another AoE. Totally caught off guard there. Ah. Oh, I guess you did fall under. I was like, why why didn't you die? I faced him before and that actually didn't. Was it really she? Yeah, 
pretty good. I got at least triple zero back up to top. Oh, hey, okay, Chava. Uh, now for the Malakos. One more, I want to use Cal. I need a tank over there. Does Wrecker work over here? Nine when you have like no instance of record. Oh no, there's record. Ninety four percent. Okay, I feel good about that. I'll use record and then use GK with the other guys. Uh, tenacity. That's actually good. He's got more protection than health, which is good for bomb resistance. It's a lot of deflection. That ability can't be evaded. So you got dodge too over there, not just deflection. Dodge or deflect it rather. done there but oh, I guess he just became furious from that I don't know black this guy re-rolled the crap out of his data crons because you do not get that much deflection naturally that was a good hit too Wrecker is definitely held up here. It's my helper. Your bombs go away without a hitch. Do armor shred. Stupid bomb toss. Hey, Dark Trooper. Off. Oh. Egyptian. 
Should I just do crew? Oxen crew. Nah, it's a lower percentage too. Yeah, I'll just do Night Sisters. I think crit avoid. Dark side. How much crit avoid? Come on, guys. Come on. Gotta need to stun the. Dark Trooper summoned too, I think. Yeah. Huh? Stay. Keep you stunned. Stun you. He's gotta use a special on his turn, right? So. As long as he doesn't... Huh? He's gonna resummon. Huh? Good, and... Okay, I can't target the other one. Uh, what's up? Pop it. Scouts out of there. Heal up. And Stormtrooper. Stun this guy. He has no protection left. I siphoned all of it. Keep him locked down. Come on, Doc, give me a heal. What happened? Okay. Oh. He said 54. I, I, this is not a clean match. This guy played it well. He set everything good. Like, his defense is well set up. Yeah, I don't think you worry about getting show stop on defense. I don't want defense offense. I want offense up. That either. Okay, that's good. Deflection. Like yeah, deflection. It's all deflection. My gosh. This is where there is definitely money in Datacrons. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's a disadvantage that is meant to be overcome. Sometimes I can do it, sometimes I can't. It just depends on how my defense holds. My defense is not that great though. I could get rid of shock, it could heal up. Gonna do much for you, pal. Frustrating, isn't it? Not being able to suck all the life out of someone. Let's 
Is that enough? Oh, I healed a little bit. Oh, maybe that's why you get it when it seems like you're a little bit under, because at the very last instant, he healed up a little bit, and that happens in Galactic War too. so maybe that's why, but it's 59, and I'll take that. Uh, that's a great use of Lord Vader, actually, and then Maul was actually instrumental as well. I'll save that for Bane. That'll be the last thing we do before we hit ships. Um, here, just gonna do the, the cow thing. Um, if Bastl is not the best, that then I'll consider something else. Let me just think. the A-team. I'll put the cow in there. What's the best banner? A oh, Bastion. Is Revan lead in play? That was worst banners. Lower percentage. JKL. Because I don't need JKL. Somewhere else. I'll stick with Bastla, it's, it's safer. I, I know it. Or I understand it well. That other stuff won't help, just need a bunch of... GK is a big reason I like this because Malgus can just kind of almost delete someone right away. Not careful. I want her to lose her her buffer there. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on the buffs. Yeah, there we go. 57. Love it. Finally. Moving right along. So I was gonna use CLS because uh, it seemed like a good idea to me because you can get around the taunt and go at Honda, but that's that was bad percentage last season and that match was really high um, the only thing they're getting out of this is a lot of offense uh, I think bad batch with a good set 13 cron is still gonna be good especially with the damage buffer or that so I go for it and it's the lineup without wrecker that was the most used, so hopefully this is just fine. I don't like all the... Let's cleanse. So I just, I need to... Runs off Echo. Jeez, it's gonna. It's so difficult. 
Get out of here. Fun's up. My... Here, done, please. Done. Probably down, I probably should have used basic, but we got it. 56. Oh, let's use Bad Batch. I use your noggin sometimes, the strongest isn't always the best to do. Can I probably overkill Java there and JML there? Here, I'm looking at Aiden. Aiden seems pretty wrong. Yes. I got Revan and Revan and Johnny Knight Luke, so Jack, I'd rather use them if I can. Actually, pretty bad. Uh, yeah, so, and Aiden is, I think, much better. Damage. That's. I'm gonna bust through CLS. Oh, I'm a super tank. Okay, he is not tanky, so that is a good sign. I wish he had more GLs on defense and like more prepared for that. Okay, you just got eradicated. That was the easiest match of the whole day. Until I do Bane. <laughs> Bane versus Jerud, that will be the easiest of the day. Light side one. Uh, I mean, this thing's no joke. No joke. So this is the last match I'm having without current intel or like appropriate modern day intel meeting the specific datacron sets that we're actually working with now. Both up. I don't think you're doing anything, Newt. By yourself. Oh gosh, they lost all the protection up just in time for that. Always a banner from. And this, uh, JML. 
Yeah, this team looks interesting. Not the overkill. Yeah, all these Dagrons are just two stats. So That's not natural. A lot of work. And specific targeting was involved there. Now, I don't know if having just Hermiota and JML is the way to not get banner sniped. I will bring in Giant Revan. And I really use up all the data crones that I have. That's kind of pointless. Well, I just like the protection up top. Rex is such a dang cock. Getting them both girded up for battle. There. There we go. That's a good trap, though. Like, if I'm not just overkilling, that's gonna catch something. I might set that myself. I do have cricks with clones. Like, Qui-Gon's supposedly the answer to this, but, like, people, everyone's setting Qui-Gon right now, so... I think that's good. Good team. I guess my, my defense isn't pitiful. It's not horrible. You know, just one GL, but... I can get the job done sometimes. Tuskens, I hope uh, Tuskens pull off for me what they pulled off for him. And he brought his Reva on offense as well. Too much to go around. Everyone's talking about it. Everybody knows it. Too much good, too many good teams to go around. Um, so we're gonna do Bane and a Sith. Uh, Darth Vader, I guess. I have him left. Uh, so what do we got? I got full CLS team, got full Radis team, Giant Knight Luke, Padme, Bounty Hunters, Wampa, Night Sisters, Palpatine, Mon Mothma. Jolie, Ulcrum. How so much? A lot that it wouldn't even help me if I needed it. Alright, Mr. Bane. Do your thing. Keep Mr. Vader alive for me. some and just kill Tarud, I guess. Counters. I'm just trying to avoid anyone doing anything. As much, that was like 100,000. 
Yeah, well, that was a 58. Let's get 1608 going into ships. Oh, yeah. Oh, a Leviathan. Wow. And with the Sith Fighter. Hmm. I think I will still do the mirror. But it's kind of pink. And I'll do profundity there. All right, let's roll. Let's roll. Hope I win the coin flip. Or a little bit of a boost. I mean, I do this. I do this all day in my clients. Like, or not all day, every day. Yes. That just makes it easier. All this turn meter they're they're doing, get into their capital ship, they're just trying to catch up to what I already did. Now I have lots of potential turn meter to get through. Her first hits on the health, the turn meter, and that is working well. This guy in. Next target, I want to get some air meter from Fury. I want to heal up. That's excellent. I don't want to heal anyone. More turn meter for me. Now I can go to Sith Fighter, which I actually want to heal. Oh, I could have hit turn meter there. There we go. Ah, oh, dang it, he's got the dumb setup. But that'll protect me from, uh... A snipe. One last bit of turn meter? No. Take you out. Mm, take you out. And we are golden. I don't, I'm not afraid of healing anymore. And that's a clinic. That's a clinic of this approach. I know there's the Mark VI approach. I don't enjoy it. It feels really iffy, and I think it can lead to worse banners. <laughs> he just died. 73 on a Leviathan. I, I will always take that. Always. Quantity. Good RNG, please. Good RNG. Assist, assist, assist. Assist in here, get a daze in here. Yes! Excellent. Perfect. Beautiful. Tooth come in. Yes, good. I don't want to take longer than I need to over there with that. 
and malevolence. Era. Good, no um no spy starting. That R9 spy that Taro had. So it really did me in. Not, not complete not did me in, I like lost anyway, but it was a big deal. No, don't. Uh... Wanted that uh, foresight over there. Crucial. Good, good, good. No, don't dodge it. For yourself. It's... The AI doesn't like to hit anyone more than it likes to hit Scythe. I know this. You're like, that's a good ship, let's attack it. I don't even need an insta-kill. Uh, the, some banners taken away though, so this was not an overwhelming banner performance. 2043. I I guess it did match last my la it did match my last fight minus the drops. I got 2063 last match. 2043 here minus the 20. Chips did go pretty well. I mean the lowest was 70. Um he said three GLs, I said one. I don't know. I don't think I'll win just because like a drop is like a death sentence. But 2043 still not too shabby. Freaking Tuskens, man! The stupid Tuskens. If I had a crystal ball, which I mean, if anyone did, they did much better in this game, of course. But I'd be like, I would just use C instead here to start. But I don't want that to happen again. Crazy. Is already R7 to relic levels higher. I don't know if that would have got it done, but I think I need to start out with isolating with the protection up on Treya. Ah, uh, because they seem to know to go for Maul here was fun. Um, it was pretty dicey because ISC almost died, but then it turned out pretty well. Malgus here was a nice change of pace and, and a good use. I mean, not the best banners, but it was a good use to get by instead of like overkilling with a GL or something. Then the back uh, didn't seem intimidating, but it was pretty clever. I mean, this, I would, that's a good CLS. I would have thought CLS would work for sure, but didn't. Really bad match, just good. This was impressive. It doesn't seem good, but it was really intimidating. That I just overkilled. And yeah, so we'll see what he does. Um, hope for a win, but I don't know. Couldn't tell you. We'll see. And we're back. Four minutes, 40 seconds left in the round. And my opponent is done. And he could not quite pull it off. Got three drops total to win by 39 banners. So if we had the same amount of drops, seems like he would have won by one. <laughs> but on the front wall, got a first Ray hold of the season with my Holdo Datacron. Took two. So that got it started, got the ball rolling. Uh, so where else was there a drop? It was not in the back. Uh, so no troubles back here, even though there are arguably some better teams like Riva and Tuskins. But I am surprised up top again to seal the deal for the win was General Grievous again. This is the second time in a row he's held. And it's... A basically clinched the win for me both times. I mean, last match, uh, that was the second drop that made my opponent just not attack anymore, and then it got a drop again. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's people just trying something dumb, like maybe Wampa is, they're attempting, and that is a no-go with the target lock. But yeah, not sure. Um, no other drops on land, but did get a drop, a hold in ships. 
And it's one I don't think I've seen before. I got a hold with Holdo. Maybe that's why they call her that, Holdo. Um, but yeah, I, uh, this is my, I think it's my first GAC having the seven star comeuppance. And I mean, it's no joke if you don't come in with the right stuff. So not sure what they did, but there was an extra drop to nail it in the coffin even further. So uh, that's two wins, two wins, one loss. And this bracket was a pretty high up bracket. So I am pleasantly pleased. I am very pleased and pleasantly surprised by that. Um, also, a change I made to my Treya. I realized I... I hadn't realized I took off the crit avoidance arrow on her. Man, I want to kill my roster. Um, I had given it to Ray because for set 13, there was the crit avoid um, on the Datacron, and I was trying to just get her up close to having full crit avoid. So I took this really good crit avoid arrow and put it on Ray. So what Trey had before now was a health uh, arrow. Uh, but yeah, putting the 75% 35% crit avoid because she has some base crit avoid mastery to begin with. So that this puts her at 48.5%. And then her lead does like 40% crit avoid or something. Yeah, 40% crit avoid. So that's a lot of crit avoid. That would really help her survive because uh, the Tuscans got some big crits off and that's what killed her. Uh, if not for that, it would have been a completely clean clear I would have had even set the turtle for the back or top or something so uh, yeah that is remedied for next week and luckily that did not cost me overall uh, but anyway yeah solid round thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next week